There's one simple step you need to make to transform your window reflections from this image to this. And we're going to get into that right now. So what I want you to do is to go Google and search for an image which fits with the scene that you have. And that might be, for example, a nature background. So for example, I'm going to type in field background. So once I've typed in this, I'm going to go ahead and choose an image which would fit as a reflection for the windows in our scene. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose, for example, this one. Now, once I've chosen this, I'm just going to download this in my computer. And then from there on, we're going to move on to the SketchUp tab. So right here in the SketchUp tab, what I want to do is I'm going to go and select the window or the glass material in our windows. And I'm going to go to the texture that the glass material has at the albedo section. And I'm going to load up the image that I downloaded. And you can see that the glass now has the image that we imported in it. First off, I just want to make the specular option as high as possible. And then I just want to turn down the opacity a little bit. And now I want to change the size of the actual texture. I'm going to go ahead and do something like 20 feet. And let's just change the way that it is oriented. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to click make unique texture. And now I'm just going to change the height and the position of it uh, to something like this. I want to try and make it larger, even bigger. And uh, now it's going to look much closer to what we actually want to do with this and let's just try and go inside this i'm going to apply a texture from here to all of the windows So now that I've applied the image onto all of the windows, it already looks a little bit more realistic, but there's still some things that we have to do to actually make it look even better. So now I'm going to close this down. I'm going to open the Enscape Material Editor. And over here, I'm just going to click ahead and do the specular option at the maximum. So at 100%. And now it's going to reflect even more. But what we can also do is we can also add uh, trees in front of the house. That way the windows or the glass of the windows reflect more. Now, this is pretty much it in terms of the tweaking of the materials obviously we can tweak the opacity as well we can make it bigger we can make it more or less transparent but there is something else that we also need to do which doesn't incorporate any changing of the material itself now something that we can do here to make it even more realistic is uh, tweak the position of the windows down here because this definitely doesn't look too realistic in terms of how it is positioned so maybe something like this would work a little bit better now as you can see now it looks like there's trees over there in the distance but uh, one more thing that we can do here is we can go to sky and load an easier eye and what will happen is that the actual glass will reflect the easier eye that we're going to import so as you can see now i import the easier eye and the reflections look much better than they did previously there's still a little bit of tweaking that i want to do myself so for example these parts of texture i'm going to put them a little bit more downwards and it's going to look much better like this rather than what it did previously i know it looks a bit flat right now but we're going to try and change that while lowering the opacity and i believe it does look better this way now so now this is the second method that you can use to actually make the better reflections on your glass of the windows now the other thing you can do is actually put trees or vegetation in front of the house that way you're kind of faking the mirroring or the glass effect on your exterior rendering so what we can do is for example i put these trees here but if we take them off you can see that there's some effect that the actual reflection loses so i'm just going to put them back on and I can do the same thing even closer for example with the windows right here and it just kind of blends well it does give a little bit more of a real effect and you kind of have to blend these three methods together because sometimes only using only one of them can look too fake and it doesn't do enough of the job as you need but if you want to learn more about reflections and all that you can definitely check the Enscape expert program in the link in the description but if you want to see a full walkthrough on an exterior render that I did with Enscape make sure to watch this video right here.